Hey everyone, thanks for joining another edition of Recast. Uh, it's a Sunday afternoon uh, and Sundays are my favorite uh, days because we go to church uh, on Sunday, um, Sunday morning. Um, I just wanted to take the next 10 minutes to talk about uh, going to church and why it matters. Uh, because only 2% of people in the UK are maybe lesser than that. Uh, they go to church on Sundays. It's the same in other parts of the world if you're watching from different parts of the world. Um, a very small percentage of uh, population go to church because there are so many misconceptions about um, attending churches uh, these day and age. Many people think church is boring. Um, I'd been to many churches in my lifetime. Um, um, I'd been to ch churches in different parts of the world. Um, I never found one church boring. Um, and, and you get to see real people. Um, it's church is more than uh, just the songs they sing uh, and, 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 and the, the sermons they preach because uh, it, it's, it's more about people. You get to see real people and real lives, people from different walks of life um, coming to, to, to worship God. And so there's something beautiful about it. Um, uh, and, and, and there's also a lot of activities for the kids in different churches. Every church has their own styles. Um, they, they sing songs differently, they preach differently, um, um, they have their different um, uh, parts in their service. You can't expect the same in different church. You need to attend different churches and also attending just one week um, it, it may not be uh, enough to, to, uh, to identify if that church is going to be useful for you because uh, Maybe the week that you attended, uh, they had a different uh, um, program, um, which, which you think is not your uh, style. So uh, you may have to attend a few weeks to, to just uh, make sure what the church is all about um, and what are the different activities in church. And, uh, but the bottom line is church is not boring. There's so many interesting activities and so many interesting things happening. And, 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 and more importantly, it's about people connecting with real people and having that sort of friendship. And people think church is not re uh, relevant these days in this, uh, with, with the, all the advancement in science and technologies. People think church is outdated. Again, may I ask you to reconsider this because church is more relevant today compared to uh, any other uh, uh, age. Because with, with all this pandemic and, and, and wars uh, and so much of uncertainty happening around us, anxiety and, and everything that's happening around us. Church is very, very relevant. Uh, we need to uh, understand the bigger picture and, and how we can live uh, in this uncertain world. Um, uh, because normally what we hear from the news and media is, is only bad news. But you need to hear some positive, some good news. And that's why we need to go to church. Um, uh, church is very relevant. Uh, uh, the church I attend a local church here uh, in Falkirk, and they talked today about um, how to live in an uncertain world, and they talked about um, how, why we should not fear, uh, why we should not be anxious with all these different things happening around uh, uh, around the world. These things are very encouraging and peaceful, and sometimes we need to hear some good news, and that's why uh, we need to go to church. It's very, very relevant. Um, and churches, uh, sometimes they talk about various different topics and some, you never know uh, what, what the topics they are sharing uh, can be for you or specifically for the situation that you are uh, going through. Um, uh, and, and, and try attending a church and you will know how it's relevant for you. Um, and people sometimes they say, I'm busy on Sundays. Um, I, I have um, a football and I have charity uh, to, uh, to attend. I have uh, to take my kids for a dance class. Uh, and, and people think church is only for marriages and funeral. Uh, and, and people think they cannot, they, they can live without God or they don't need God. Um, uh, um, and they can die without God. But can I ur uh, urge you to reconsider that please? Because I've come across many people who had this um, view of uh, thinking that they don't need God because in their younger years they had people, they had money, they had um, uh, friends to go to parties and families but when they got, got older 
when uh, everything faded away when their wealth is gone their health is gone their the friendship and family uh, 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 as moved to a different place that's when they realized they need god for some people it may be too late and some people regretted why did i miss this church during my early years uh, and and we all need church we all need god uh, whether you believe uh, these things or not uh, it's very important uh, that we uh, that we um, uh, attend church um, and and uh, on sundays give some time for these things on sundays um, and 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 people think um sometimes they go to church and then they they got heard by someone word spoken um uh, and and they decide that they will never go back to church uh, they think um uh, all the churches are the same can i urge you to think about this because if you've been heard by uh, uh, or, or by word spoken in one of the churches that you've attended um we need to remember church is not for per- perfect people people coming to church uh, are imperfect people just like you and me uh, sometimes we come across situations and that uh, it doesn't mean every church is the same uh, you may have to speak to that person or the church leaders or try a different church uh, stop it's 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 not good to stop going to church because of an experience you had in one church because uh, there's a verse in the bible that says a cord of three strands is not quickly broken um two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor if either of them of them falls down one can help the other up but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up you see a cord of three strands is not quickly broken it, it talks about that 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 fellowship uh, you get in church um it's between you god and the people uh you need people to pick you when you fall fall down we all go through troubles uh, in our lifetime we, we go through various different seasons in life we go through uh uh health situations or go go through a grief uh, 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 grief we go through uh, a career uh, uh, issues in all those uh seasons we need someone to pick us up if you're going to lock yourself up in a room and think you don't need church you don't need god um um in times like this you need people to lift you up and that's why we need to go to church and and so so before i finish uh i just want to remind that that uh, if you think that you need to become holy or perfect before attending a church um um you are welcome to church as you are just as you are because you don't have to be holy or perfect or uh, give up anything before attending a church um because church is welcome and open for everyone um, if you uh, if you are interested to try a local church um uh, let me know or uh, uh, if you don't know about any good local churches uh, reach out to me via social media i'll put you in touch um i'm just going to finish this with a short clip 2 minutes clip um about uh, what i just said and hope it's a blessing for you i know there are people here who have found joy but there are people here today that i know are, are hurting they're depressed worried just broken there are marriages here that are being held together by a single thread people here whose lives are spinning out of control real people with real hurts and real problems living in a cold dark world grabbing for some 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 comfort some belonging peace so if you're broken inside 
welcome. If you have a landfill of past regrets, welcome. If you are hurting and alone, welcome. If you're clinging to hope, welcome. If you are desperate for forgiveness, welcome. If you're ready to praise the one who heals broken marriages, who breaks addictions, who gives life to the lifeless, welcome. If you're ready to run in the grace and the freedom of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who became broken, who became sin, who took sickness, worry, depression upon himself so that we don't have to be. So if you're ready to bask in God's unconditional love for you, welcome.